back to Grace's room. So one of the things that I love doing when I'm out at a restaurant, if I'm at a party or if I'm just at home and I don't feel like having water or a soda, is have a mocktail. Since I'm not 18 yet and I can't have a cocktail. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a mocktail is, they're basically cocktails, which are like just like really fancy drinks that have alcohol in it, but mocktails don't have alcohol in them and they are so nice. They're really refreshing, quite summery, and they also look really pretty. Sometimes I'll just order a mocktail off like a menu at a restaurant just because it looks so cute. So I thought that I'd share with you guys some of my favorite mocktail recipes that I like to make at home. Um, and hopefully maybe you guys can test these out if you've got like a party coming up or you want something fancy with your dinner. The first mocktail I'm gonna show you guys how to make is a tequila sunrise mocktail. It doesn't have tequila in it by the way, don't go get tequila. Um, but the ingredients that you're gonna need is some orange juice, some peach juice, some Sprite or just like lemonade, some grenadine syrup. I think this is just like a cherry and pomegranate syrup. Um, and also some crushed ice and a highball glass. I think it's just, just a tall glass. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is fill it up with some crushed ice, maybe about over halfway. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put in some orange juice. Um, we need three quarters of a cup. Then I'm going to get some peach juice and this is just half a cup. Now I need three tablespoons of Sprite. And finally, three tablespoons of grenadine syrup. There we go, and then you can see the grenadine syrup goes to like the bottom and then it creates this really cool sunrise look. How pretty is that? See, I told you, just like mocktails, they just look pretty. <laughs> you don't even have to like the taste of them, they just like, look nice. So now we're gonna um, make them look a little bit more presentable. Have an orange slice here to put on the side. Easy. Cute, and then also a little umbrella because, I mean, when I was a kid, I loved when my, dr my drinks came with like a little umbrella. They're like so cute. And there you have it, a tequila with no tequila sunrise. <laughs> I have a little stir here, so why don't we give it a little taste. The only sad thing is that once you mix it, it kind of gets rid of the sunrise. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm. It's so refreshing. This is like the best drink to have in the summertime. This drink is probably like one of the prettiest ones I'm gonna make. It's called a Blue Lagoon Mocktail. It's blue, if you can tell by the name. Um, and the ingredients you're going to need is some Sprite, this Curacao um, syrup, uh, it's just like a blue syrup. I think it's got like a citrusy taste to it. I don't know if I pronounced that right. But um, I know that you can get these bottles and it does have alcohol mixed in it. So when you buy it, make sure you're buying the syrup version because you don't want alcohol. Um, some lemon juice and then just like some garnishes and some ice. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rim the glass. This is, oh, I'm just using another tall glass for this. Um, I'm going to rim it with some sugar. So I'm just going to dip it in some water. And then some sugar. How cute. <laughs> it's probably optional, but it looks nice if you're like presenting it or something. Okay. Now I'm going to put like five ice cubes or something in there. All right, um, I'm going to need a quarter of a cup of this Curacao syrup. How pretty does that look? That looks so cute. Now I need um, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And finally, one and a half cups of Sprite. And then as a nice little garnish, I'm going to use a lemon slice. And I've got a blue straw here to match the vibe. Oh, I've got a 
little stir here as well. And that is the Blue Lagoon mocktail all done. It's probably one of the simpler ones, but like, I think the main um, allure of it is the blue <laughs> color. It's so cute, let's try it. Mm. This is like so good. If you like really like lemony taste, this is definitely a good one to do. I love this one, it's like one of my favorites. So cute. Next, we're going to be making a margarita. And for this drink, you'll need some lime juice, some lemon juice, some simple syrup, which is just like sugar syrup, some orange juice, some lime, um, and some crushed ice. Um, and you're also going to use a cocktail glass. I was really excited to use this glass. I feel like when you think of like mocktails, like these are like the glasses that they come in. Anyway, um, first thing I'm gonna do is rim it again, um, but this time instead of using water and sugar, I'm gonna use some lime and salt. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this lime wedge and sort of just rub it around the outside. There we go. And then I'm going to dip it in some salt. Um, the purpose of using salt is the margarita drink is quite sweet, so the salt kind of just like cuts through that sweetness. All right, let's start actually making the drink. Um, I'm going to be putting the mixture in the shaker first, just because it helps mix the ingredients together. Um, and the first thing that I'm going to do, oh, of course, put some ice in. <laughs> I think we're going to need ice pretty much for every single drink that we're making. Um, and I'm going to fill it up like maybe like halfway. Uh, now I'm going to use four ounces or 120 ml of this simple syrup. I think it's pretty clear to see why this drink is very sweet. There's a lot of sugary items going in here. Um, and now I'm going to use two, um, two ounces or um, 60 ml of lime juice. I'm going to use one ounce or 30 ml of lemon juice. And finally, one ounce of orange juice. There we go. This drink smells so nice. It's like so refreshing. This is like the summer drink. Um, now we're going to shake it all up and I'm going to try really hard not to spill this everywhere. <laughs> that glass is so cold. <laughs> okay, um, our drink is all shaken up. Um, let's put it in the glass. There we go. So I didn't actually end up using all the mixture, but that's good, I guess. Um, so, <laughs> there it is. Um, I'm just going to put a little lime on the side, I think. There we go. And we have, oh, I also have a little straw here. <laughs> and there's our margarita. It's um, so pretty, and like I said, it's really uh, summery, so let's have a little soup. Kind of like having like a slushy or something, and I was a bit skeptical about having skeptical about having like salt when I first started making these, but you need it. Like it's quite sweet by itself. But this is so refreshing. It has a very um, citrusy taste, and it's personally one of my favorites. This mocktail is maybe a little bit healthier. It's called a goji berry and raspberry cooler, and you'll need some goji berries, some frozen raspberries, some mint some honey, um, some ginger, some ice, and some water. So I'm trying to remember everything. Um, unfortunately, this one does require a little bit of preparation. I know, a little bit annoying, but the end result is worth it, I suppose. Um, so you're gonna need 40 grams of some goji berries. Um, you're gonna need uh, 150 grams of frozen raspberries. And like, there's like a thumb size of ginger. Um, uh, they usually you're supposed to like um, grate it, but I'm just gonna put it in a garlic presser. Mm. 
You can probably put more ginger in there if you want, but that's just a good amount for me. Um, and then you're going to need 850 mils of boiling water. There we go. And then you have to leave this in the fridge for like two hours or it's probably easier just to leave it overnight. Obviously, we don't want to see me wait. So I have actually prepared a mixture last night. It's all ready to go. So um, the next thing I have to do is strain it. All right, I've got my mixture here. Um, now I need to put some honey in it. Um, I think you can kind of just put this into taste. I just usually eyeball it. Yeah, you need like some sort of sweet. If you don't want honey, you can use like maple syrup or something. You need some sort of sweetener though because there's currently no sweetener. <laughs> and I'm just gonna mix this around. There we go. Now it's time to start preparing our drink. Um, as usual, we're gonna need some crushed ice. <laughs> um, we're gonna fill this maybe like a third of the way. And then we're gonna add some garnishes. Um, add some raspberries. That's enough. And some mint leaves. I, I think one of my most favorite ingredients in mocktails is mint. Um, if you're not a mint lover, then <laughs> you probably won't want to add this in, but it's just so refreshing. I just love mint so much. And then finally, we'll pour in our mixture. Perfect. And there you have it, a goji berry and raspberry cooler. It's so pretty. I have a little garnish here actually, some mint leaves. This is like a really pretty one. I'm like, you can kind of tell it's like a little bit healthier. Like it doesn't have any Sprite or anything like that in it, but it's really refreshing. Mm, it has such a nice flavor. If you like a, lot, like a very like berry taste, then this you'll probably like this one. Um, and the color is so pretty as well. Definitely one of my favorites. This drink is inspired by a mocktail that I get when I go to one of my favorite restaurants here in Melbourne and it's called a crumble cream soda and it uses some Sprite, some lime juice, some uh, strawberry and rhubarb puree and some mint. The strawberry and rhubarb puree, if you can find this pre-made then congratulations. I can't find it anywhere here in Melbourne. So I just um, boil some rhubarb and strawberry with a little bit of um, lemon and sugar. So let's get started. The first thing, you know the drill, some ice. Now I'm gonna use uh, like three dessert spoons of this puree. Next I'm going to use an ounce of lime juice. And finally, some Sprite. There's no really specific measurement for the Sprite, just do until it fills up the glass. And then just gonna stir it all together with my straw. And there you go, I'm just gonna put some mint leaves on top as well. It's a nice garnish. Oh, and also I have a strawberry here. There you go, here's your crumble cream soda. Mm, this one is so refreshing. It's, I know I said this for every single drink, <laughs> but like it's just really refreshing. It has a really nice um, strawberry taste and rhubarb as well. It's just so pretty as well. I love the color. This is probably, I'd say, like maybe my favorite mocktail. But I like love making this one. The last mocktail that I'm going to show you guys today is another, <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but it's very summery and very refreshing and it's a summer cup mocktail. Um, for this one, it doesn't unfortunately require a little bit of preparation again, um, but you will need some frozen red berries, um, some mint, some cucumber, some sparkling lemonade, and some ice. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, prepare like the mixture, I suppose. So I'm gonna fill this up with 200 ml of uh, boiling water. Next, I'm just gonna throw 
throw in a little bit of cucumber and some mint chopped up. And I'm just gonna let that infuse for two minutes. The next thing I'm gonna do is put some frozen red berries. I've just got some strawberries and raspberries here. Put them in our mixture. And I'm just gonna let it sit in there and defrost for like a minute. Now that the berries have defrosted, just take like the back of a fork or something and crush the berries. So you get all the flavor out of them. And once that's done, strain the mixture and put it in the fridge until it has chilled. Once again, I have um, already prepared the mixture here. As you can see, it's a very nice color. Um, so let's start preparing the drink. I have like this really nice like rounded glass here. I think it looks the nicest and like a nice like rounded glass. <laughs> um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is just take some ice. And then like a little bit of ice, not too much. Uh, and I'm going to pour two ounces of the mixture in there. So as you can see, there's like a lot of leftover mixture. So this will probably like serve like four or five people. Um, and then I'm going to put all my garnishes inside. So I've got like some frozen berries here, some like lemon and lime slices, some cucumber slices and some mint. So let's put some berries in there first. Just put some lemon and lime slices in there. cucumber and finally some mint leaves there we go okay and now I'm just going to pour some sparkling lemonade inside stir it around a little bit and there you have it really pretty summer um, some of her cup drink. Uh, it's so cute and it tastes really nice as well. It's like so refreshing. It has like um, from like the different fruits and stuff in there. It gives it like a really nice um, like berry taste. A little bit citrusy as well. Definitely one of my favorites. And again, it's super refreshing. So there you have it, six of my favorite mocktail recipes that hopefully you guys can try if you're looking for something a little bit more refreshing to drink. Uh, I'd say my favorite out of these is either the crumble soda or the blue lagoon or the margarita. <laughs> I don't know, I really like them all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram at Grace of World Official. Oh, I forgot to mention, thank you guys so much for 900,000 subscribers here on Grace's Room as well. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.